Okay, so we're ready to start creating our first pivot table. As you can see, I've got a data set over here. The first thing that we need to do with this data set is convert it into a table. So to do that, I'm going to select all the data, then select insert, and then select table. My data does have headers, so I'll say OK. Right, now that the data is formatted as a table, you can select anywhere on that table, then select insert, and then select pivot tables. This is the create pivot table dialog box. The first thing that you want to select is the table or range. It's automatically selected table 7. It's referencing the whole table. This is why we could add and remove certain information and it'll still reference all the data. If you wanted to use an external data source, you would select it now by checking this block. Now what you have to do is select the location. I want to put this pivot table in the sheet that we're working on. So I select existing worksheet, then select location, and then I'm going to select G3. Then you can select OK. On the left hand side of the screen, over here, you'll see the field list. This field list can be customized into different views. If I select this cog over here, I can see the different views available. The current view is the most common, field section and areas section stacked. The other views look like this, side by side, field section only, area section only, and area section only 1 by 4. For the majority of this course, we'll use the field section and area section stack. This is the default view. The next thing that we want to do is select the fields that will be included in our pivot table. The pivot table that I'm going to create now will be revenue per month compared yearly. So as you may have picked up, we'll need revenue, month, and year. So I select those fields. And year. As you can see, as I start selecting the fields, a pivot table is automatically generated. What we need to do now is format those fields so our pivot table is appropriate for us. So what I want for this pivot table is the months over here, as it is already. Then I want two columns, both the years 2016 and 2017, and then a total for the years. So what I would need to do is I would need the years 2016 and 2017 as columns over here. So what I'll do is I can see some of year over here. I want that as a column. So I click and hold down this field, and I can move it to columns. Now we can see the sales for each month of 2016 compared to 2017. It's as simple as that, your first pivot table. To make this pivot table complete, you can see there's still row labels and column labels. We can remove that. We can remove these by selecting field headers, or we can show the field headers and give the column labels and row labels a better name. For column labels, we'll call it year. And for row labels, we'll call it month. Now you can see our pivot table is complete. 
Lastly, with all tables, charts, and sets of information, it should have a header. I'm just going to call this Sales by Month. Great. In the next video, we'll create a couple more pivot tables to summarize the information in this data.